Hey guys, how are you doing? So, I uh, thought about it and I decided before I'm gonna finish this wonderful painting. So I wanted to share a little bit of my thoughts with you on that. What did I... Uh, painted here, what that I illustrated here, is not important. What is important is what that every person will find in it, will see in it, when he will, will take a look at it. To everyone it will represent something else, to everyone it will show something else and I'm just aiming my heart to to hear what Hashem wants from 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 me. What what is my my part in this lifetime? And and to paint something and to talk with a friend or to give a class, it's all the same. It's all one thing that that you just do. When you listen to your heart, so you just, you look for, for Hashem's will. Okay, Hashem, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do now? Okay, there is an empty space here. There is something that I can add to this, to this paper. There is something that I can give to that friend. There is, there is some, some wisdom that, that lives inside of me that I can pass it on. There is some, some wisdom, some, some intelligence, some beauty, something that I can give that no one else can give. And why? Because I'm here right now, not because I'm, oh, you're so talented, you're so gifted. Nonsense. I'm nothing. I'm just, I'm just here and I'm just trying to do something useful with my time. Hashem just let me do that because he sees my heart that I'm I really want to do that. I really want to do something useful with my time. So so it's like a prayer. It's like to connect yourself to Hashem. You just do it. You just breathe and and sometimes you need to breathe deep. Sometimes really things are are complex. Sometimes it's hard for you to listen to your inner voice. Sometimes you're not so sure that it is your inner voice. Maybe it's some other voice that is talking to you. Some sometimes it's your fears. Sometimes it it can be a lot of things. But the main thing is to breathe. When you breathe, you just reconnect yourself to to Hashem's will. Just you find more and more of, of what the Hashem wants from you. Now I put those illustrations, those paintings of mine on the website, on the amuna.com website. And I really want to share those pictures with you because I like that when I'm coming to a class, I'm, I'm giving my the light for my soul, whatever Hashem puts in my heart, I'm just giving it. So also those colors are are colors that are coming from from my inside, from the light of my own soul and and I think that every person should share. You know? I thought today about the the Native Americans. If you would ask them, they would tell you that they, that the, that the wind was was talking to them. Probably still do. Still does. They would hear voices from the water and from the trees, and I believe in that. All of the creation is speaking to us and 
and they were just experiencing it they were just feeling it so deep in their bones it was just part of their life it was their language those were the concepts that the creator was using to communicate to them to share we have our letters we have the alphabet we have chocolate we have many good things that Hashem is using to communicate with us through those things and and they had theirs and we don't need to criticize no one we just need to believe that Hashem knows exactly what every person needs to hear and, and just to let it happen just to let it be it's so beautiful when you just express yourself and and everyone must do that everyone must just share the light of their soul and just be who that they are in the last period of time life became much much deeper there than they they were for me so many things in life been changed for me but Hashem is always with me when I'm waking up when I'm asleep when I'm dreaming when I'm praying when I'm with my family when I'm teaching in classes I see the presence of Hashem the Creator is walking hand in hand with me and and that's it it's it's forever now every person in the world he needs to reveal his point what that Hashem gave him to to do in life and to feel complete with that just really to to understand it like if you have special hands you can be a carpenter you feel it you you want to do that you're a singer you're you're a working person, you're, you're amazing with number, I don't know what. You just need to understand that that's your mission. And just stop chasing after your own tail. Just be yourself, just listen to the voice of Hashem and, and let it be. Just feel comfortable with yourself. Stop chasing and blaming yourself. Hashem is so much with you, Hashem likes you so much, Hashem cares about you. Stop. Stop that war, stop that fight, stop that arguing all of the time, fight and war and contradictions and stop, relax, look, you can do things, you can illustrate, you can paint, you can dance, you can breathe, oh, you want to be religious, be religious, you can do that, you can do it, you want to keep Shabbat, keep Shabbat, dancing Shabbat, yay, I'm dancing, it's Shabbos, be happy, stop chasing, no, yes, but what, but if, stop, it's all nonsense, be, just be, be, be yourself, you don't like that job, quit, go, what I'm gonna do, don't do, breathe, Relax, go to Hashem, breathe with Hashem, tell Hashem, Hashem, I cannot handle it anymore, that's it, I'm not working in that crazy place anymore, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care, I'm not able, it's not for me, I'm dying, you commanded me to live, you must live while keeping to all mitzvot. If you would know the things that I'm experiencing in my life, the visions and, and things that Hashem is showing me, Hashem is opening my eyes in ways that I, I never dreamt. I never dreamt that it's going to be like that. It's going to be so spiritual, so deep, like Hashem is talking to me through the walls. The food is talking to me, the drinks are talking to me. My students my my classes my thoughts everything the walls the wind the 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 the, the trees the leaves the the snow it's so deep 
and it's not deep for me because I'm a deep person. No, I'm just looking at it and I'm just giving it the right honor, the right respect. I respect the wind, I respect the trees, I give respect to the earth that I'm walking on, I'm breathing the air, I respect the air. So I listen to it, I give it its own place, I let it be. So it let me be as well. When you disrespect the world, you disrespect the creation, the creation disrespects you. And all of the time you can't stand in one place and you cannot be in one place and you cannot breathe and you cannot eat and you cannot drink. Breathe. The world is so deep, the Creator is so, so, so deep. So deep. So deep. So deep and so emotional and so, so wise and so, so special. And you can be so many things, you can become a prophet, you can, you can, you can, you can change the world with your songs. One song in, in YouTube can have two and a half billion views. You, so if you're going to sing on something nice, so you can reach to two and a half billion people or one and a half billion people that heard it twice. It's crazy. Hashem made it so, 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 so great that we can take over the world and make good things happen. And no one can take this privilege and this ability from us because it's installed in our soul. It's who that we are. Nothing gonna change it. Nothing in the world gonna change our inner connection to the Creator. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing gonna change my love for you. Nothing. Hashem is with us. So, you see my hands are shaking. Pray for me. Pray for Avdro Moshe ben Immanuela. Vide Moshe Kvedim. The hands of Moshe is heavy. Ooh, heavy hands. Heavy hands. Vayadavimuna. His hands were full with faith. No physical strength, only spiritual strength. Pray for me, pray for my family. I'm your brother, I love you all. I'm praying for you. Help us, support us. Give us the power to continue, to succeed, to grow, to reach out to more and more people around the world, thirsty people that just want to be themselves. Give us the power. Give us the power, support us. Share all of our videos like crazy. Save people's life. Last Tuesday, I gave the class. A woman before the class came, she said, You saved my life. I told her, What? How? She said, You know, the regular story. I was lost, I was confused, I watched your videos, it saved my life, now my child is getting married, everything is okay. Ah, huh? the usual story. Hashem will bless us all with tears of joy and happiness. Amen.